Well, the British High Commission is absolutely delighted to support this exhibition, and I think when you see the, the quality and the range of, of works on show this evening, it's absolutely apparent why. Um, Emerge is about three A's, three artists, beginning with the, with the letter A. Um, Alison Bone, uh, this is her, her first exhibition, as we've heard, but I think from the from the works, you, you wouldn't guess it, um, a, really, a, a real talent. And I particularly draw attention to a, it's a pen and ink drawing right at the back of um, Her Majesty's coronation um, in, in 1952, the, the uh, Cape Shepherd department store, which really does kind of transport you back to the, to the event. Um, Ahmed Rashid Boudou, uh, an artist of, of very long standing, associated with the, the PAM movement, the, the People's Art Movement, and who's combined uh, work in a, in a range of, of styles, in, including photography. And perhaps for those of you whose, whose budgets this evening may not extend to one of the larger pieces, I just draw your attention to some very good photographs near the, near, near the, near the door of, of a lot of Bridgetown scenes a lot showing a real passion for clouds, which uh, puts, puts others in, in, the, in the company of a lot of British artists. Um, and as we've heard, the late um, Aubrey Cummings, um, Aubrey tragically died while this exhibition was in, was in preparation, but I know members of his family who are, who are here with us this evening were very keen that the exhibition should, should continue uh, to commemorate a great artist an artist who combined uh, qualities in uh, a whole range of artistic talents, including musical talents, I, I believe involved in the, in the band Bumble and the Saints in Guyana back in the, back in the 60s, um, combining that with uh, artistic talent, as you see, as, as um, the head of the Barbados Arts Council rightly pointed out, a huge range of, of artistic uh, a huge range of subject matter ranging from the, the streets of Barbados right up to Michael Jackson in the corner over there. Uh, Aubrey was a person he kept himself a lot and um, you have to really know him to understand him. But as like I said, I've always admired his work. And what I like about Aubrey's work is that Aubrey, I, I look for things that are picturesque. Mm -hmm. Aubrey sees beauty in everyday subjects. He would have searched around Barbados looking to pick up a subject. He would paint the ordinary. A vagrant on the street would be a source of inspiration for him. And uh, indeed, he painted lots of vagrants. He painted simple things, like uh, right behind you. Just a simple guy sitting on the pavement, and always featured in his shoes. Simple subjects that um, some artists would overlook. And that's the beauty of Aubrey. He was very methodical. When you look at his work, you see a sense of um, technical proficiency that at times is lacking in a lot of artists. He was a lot of artists were terrain blown away by the love and, and the detail um, that she has put into them. She has kept in the art, um, whatever she has done has been connected to the art from thinking interior decorating and now selling art, uh, art material. So this is something I don't think Alison could really get away from. It's obviously within her. And I am extremely pleased and proud to have been a part of that development and to actually see this um, culmination in, in an exhibition. This is one of the lessons of being a teacher.